So I broke my JEGS flare tool on my JEGS stainless steel brake line. This is not supposed to look like this. And this is not supposed to have a crack in it. Hopefully you can see that. So now I need to fix it. To fix it, I bought a big old bolt. I've got a 5 8 inch bolt, so I need to cut the head off, drill a hole in it, drill the body out, get rid of the, it's like 5 16 thread. There is no way this is going to work. I mean, other than that, the tool is great. It just can't handle stainless steel tubing. I don't know if that says it in the manual, but it will after I'm done modifying it. <laughs> I broke it again. Maybe using a grade 5 bolt wasn't the best idea, especially when you put a hole directly through the middle of it. It broke at its thinnest point, probably because I had the hole slightly off-centered, and again, because this is grade 5. So let me show you what I did to get the last flare done. So I use a grade 5 bolt again, and I just use a nut on the other side. So to be able to crimp it, I just used a ratchet and a open end wrench on the other side. Well, that does it for this video. I thought I had a pretty cool fix to solve the issue with the small fastener on this side of the JEGS tool. Um, I mean, it didn't break, the other side broke. Um, but I completely blame that on my abilities. If I had a mill, I would have been able to locate that better. If I was able to get a longer bolt to begin with that was grade five instead of this it would have been better if this hole was a little bit smaller so it was more of a press fit on the pin that would probably have helped too but regardless of all that um i will come back and i'll modify this to use the handle again this bolt just needed to last me for one more flare to finish flaring all the brake lines the tool works great as far as inside of here um the other thing that was probably not helping my situation as I was using stainless steel and I was also doing the DIN flares, which seemed to be a little bit tougher on this. Doing the 3 16ths American flares didn't really have any issue, but using that DIN flare was just a little bit more pressure on this. It's a great tool, I highly recommend it. I think that's it for this one. Uh, thanks for coming along. Um, I thought this was gonna end a lot different than it did, but I started off with a broken tool and I ended the video with a broken tool, but it was completely my fault. I was definitely pushing this tool past its capability. If you use the inexpensive brake lines, this tool will work great, so keep that in mind. If you do plan on using stainless brake line, be prepared for a broken tool. Anyways, thanks for following along. I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you in the next one. Bye. All right, one more thing for the people who are still here who noticed that there was a little bit more video left after the outro. I am still here. I've been working on a project for the last nine months and I'm getting very close to getting it done. 
And once that project is done, I will be back on the Toyota putting the frame. I haven't forgot about the truck. I haven't given up on the truck. It's just, I started a project in July that I was much more excited about. I am very close to getting it finished. And once it's done, I will be making a video series of it. I have over probably 100 to 120 hours of video that I've been taking of this project. I will be making videos of it, but I wanted to get it all done in one and do something different with the video. But the Toyota will be coming back maybe in the next three months. I'm not making any promises, but I haven't forgotten. I am going to try to start making little videos like this more. I have a couple ideas in my head that I'm working on, but I'm still here. Thank you for tuning in. Bye.